بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله in a beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about what honor is and how we can attain honor An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu Anna Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam aqal Ma naqsat sadaqatun من مال وما زاد الله عبد بأفو إلا عزة وما تواضع أحد لله إلا رفعه هو الله رواه مسلم. In this hadith of Sahih Muslim, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said in the hadith of Abi Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said That charity does not deplenish from wealth, or charity does not deplete one's wealth. And Allah only increases His servant, or that a person who pardons others, then Allah will. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases them in izzah, in honor. And a person does not become humble before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, humbling themselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except that Allah raises him. Ruahu Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there are immense fawaid as usual. And the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ma naqasat sadaqa min mal. So in the first ibara, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said that charity does not take away from wealth. How is that? We find that this is the case in two ways. Firstly, Charity, by giving charity, you purify yourself. So you increase yourself in good, in good deeds. And you increase the good by spreading good to others. And you see that others benefit from your charity, bi'idnillah. The second way in which charity does not decrease is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaces it in another way. In fact, you may find an increase. The more that you give, you may find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases you with better employment that pays more. Or in some other way in this life and definitely in the hereafter. So you win, it's a win-win situation. The second ibara or the second statement in the uh, hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is that Allah only increases a slave in honor by his pardoning. Meaning that by pardoning people, by being forgiven, forgiving to people, towards people and pardoning them for their faults, pardoning them for their mistakes and the way they've treated you or what have you, that you, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you izzah from this. By having this uh, trait, it's a trait that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves or He wouldn't reward it. That you are pardoning, that you pardon people for their faults and their mistakes. So this is something we need to take to heart. And through that pardoning, what do we gain? It's not just a, 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 the simple affair that we pardon someone and we still have a grudge or whatever the case may be. But in fact, by pardoning people, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us izzah. He gives us honor, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after the honor of Allah, what honor is there? There is no honor greater than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives. And then in the next statement, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَمَا تَوَاضَعَ أَحَدٌ لِلَّهِ إِلَّا رَفَعَهُ اللَّهِ That a person has not humbled themselves before Allah except that Allah raises them. SubhanAllah. So here it is through the act of humility, the act of being humble, the act of being obedient to Allah, because this is how you're humble before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is by adhering to His commandments. Adhering to his commands, doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls us to do in the Quran, doing those things which will feel good in the heart because they are in accordance with the Sharia. This is humbling yourself before Allah, and it's giving up those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with hum humility, humbling yourself, shyness. Before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, and may Allah grant us those characteristics. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So, here through humility, a person gains status, or gains greatness, or is raised in the sight of the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the opposite of the way we behave in this life is most of the time people don't find and don't believe that they'll gain success or that they'll gain anything good and gain honor and gain status and be raised up by being humble before others by having the characteristic of tawah that but in fact Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the believer raises the person who is humble, humble before their Lord and humble towards others. Being humble is not a negative trait. Being humble instead of always believing that you, your honor, has the right to be utmost respected at the expense of others. And I'm going to give you a real world example as I'm in America now. And we have this disease that goes with many of our youth, especially in this day and age, that everyone feels that they have extra right to be respected on a higher level. That they deserve to be respected at all costs. If you step on their shoe, they kill you. If they don't like the way you look at them, they shoot you. They knife you. They don't like the way you talk to them. Even the way they disrespect and oppose the elders shows that people have lost sense of self and they don't have the trait of humility. And from this, they don't gain honor. People are fearful of them, perhaps. But they only belittle themselves and belittle their community and belittle everything about them. They don't gain honor and they don't gain true respect. And that can only come from by following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing that which pleases Allah to baraka ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless our community to be of the mu'minun, of those people who are humble before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and humble to, to his creation without compromising their integrity, without compromising their iman, without compromising their honor. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.